you're gonna get a good spot. You're gonna leave your opponent struggling a little bit, you know, spending the energy, and you're just there, you know. And as you do this, you start to understand your opponent's feeling much better, right? So sometimes I see the pass, but I put an account, say, look, this guy is still struggling, right? I can step and pass his guard anytime I want. But the guy is still spending energy for nothing. I know that he's doing something wrong. I'm gonna leave the guy there for a while. Because I know that when I step over and pass, he's gonna be much tired than he was before. So that counts good for me, <laughs> right? But you just uh, you can you're just able to understand that when you stop in the position and take our time there to see how it goes you know let's see what's gonna be my opponent's reaction let's see what my opponent is gonna do next so if you just scramble you never get that feeling you never get that understanding you know so you, you if you do that you you need the stamina right in place you need to you know be strong you need to be flexible you need to order you know Physical, the, the young man's attributes. The young man's have, yeah. So you cannot play jiu-jitsu after thirties, right? So when you get understanding, you can play with the young guys, no problem, you know. Because when you get a good position, you know how to deal with that, you know. So you you start to read the opponent's feeling uh, in a way that's not possible if you are just doing the, you know, the speed passing, speed passing and jump over and floating over the guy, you know. And, Things as a good understanding to have that's gonna help you not just in the past but also when you get across the mount or you get the back or you get the mount. You know, is that just a, a understand your opponent's feeling in every position you are is a very important thing.